Hi, I'm Sarah Baya and welcome to my science class. Welcome to another fun and interesting lesson this week. In today's lesson, we will be investigating some properties and characteristics of light energy. At the end of our lesson, you're expected to describe how light is reflected and refracted using various materials. But before we proceed with our main topic, let us review our past lesson about light and sound energy. Read the questions carefully and guess the correct answer from the selection. So if you're ready, let's get started. If you answer them all correctly, congratulations! As a safety reminder, always be careful in handling materials. Perform the activities carefully so you will not harm yourself. Always perform the activity in the presence of an adult. Light is a form of energy which is given by luminous objects like the sun, bulb, and candle. We have learned that light can pass through transparent materials like glass, water, clear plastic, and air. As light passes through objects, it behaves differently when it falls on different objects. When light falls on the surface, it may be reflected or refracted. So let's get to know more about these properties of light. So for today's lesson, let's investigate some properties and characteristics of light energy. The only reason we can see things around us is that light reflects them off into our eyes. Let's try this simple activity and investigate how light reflects objects. We'll be needing the following materials and now watch this video. Reflection can happen if you have a smooth, highly polished surface like a mirror and you shine a narrow beam of light at it. You get a narrow beam of light reflected back off it. So when we place the halves of the cutout besides the mirror, the picture seems complete or whole. The way light bounces back is very similar to the way a ball bounces back on a hard surface. So when you throw a ball straight down, it will bounce back straight at you. When you throw the ball at an angle, it will bounce off at an angle away from you. Light reflects the same way of a mirror as it bounces off at the same angle that it struck the mirror. We know that light waves travel in straight lines, 
but more interesting things happen when they travel through other materials, especially when they move from one material to another. Let's investigate another property of light called refraction. We will be needing the following materials. Now watch this video. Is the pencil broken? Well, it appears to be broken. This appearance shows that light is bent as it passes from air to the glass of water. Light bends as it passes from some objects when viewed from an angle. Light travels slower in water and the glass in air. As the light changes speed, it changes direction, resulting in what appears to be bending of light. That bending of light is called refraction. Furthermore, the portion of the pencil that is placed in water appears to be wider than the portion of the pencil that is submerged. That is because, as you look at the pencil, the top part of the pencil came directly to your eyes, while light rays from the bottom part pass first through the surface between the water and the air. The rays then are refracted. Time for some challenge! Our challenge for today is guessing whether the following statement is true or false about the different properties of light. So if you're ready to test your wits, let's get started! If you answer them all correctly, congratulations! We have learned today about the different properties and characteristics of light. So that's it for our lesson today. Don't forget to read more about our lesson in your textbook and module and answer the activities in your worksheet. Once again, I'm your teacher, Sir Abaya. Thanks for listening. See you next time! for today. See you next time!